Hi, I'm Dave with Advantech. I want to thank you for your interest in the family of pet gazebos. We've got three sizes that'll meet all your needs, no matter if you have a Shizu, a Lab, or a Great Dane. We spent a long time making sure these are the best kennels on the market, and I want to make sure you know why. When we built the pet gazebo, we started from the ground up, reimagining everything that goes into a kennel system, starting with how it's assembled. These connectors are the key to setting up the pet gazebo. It's a breeze. It just takes a few minutes and no tools are required. The connectors are made of nylon. They're ultra strong, they're ultra flexible, and they're designed to stay that way. In addition, they won't scratch or mar anything that you put them on. The pet gazebo is designed to travel with you, and sometimes you're going to need to give your dog food or water without risking escape. A unique drop-down window makes that easy to do, or just to say hello. Hey, Brooklyn. Hi. Getting your pet in and out of the pet gazebo is a breeze with our unique drop-in latch. It must be lifted and twisted in order to open the door. That's going to prevent most dogs from nosing it open. And now for the part that makes the pet gazebo a full and secure kennel, not just another exercise pet. Each pet gazebo comes with a roof that locks the side panels into place, adding extra security and strength. It's reversible to help with temperature control. And by giving the pet gazebo a lower profile, we let your pet have more shade for more of the day. When you open the box to your new pet gazebo, you'll find six kennel side panels, one easy access window panel, and one gate panel. There's also 16 identical nylon panel connectors, eight elastic ball ties, a reversible gazebo cover, eight roof support arms, plus a hub and cap for the roof. The easiest way to set up your pet gazebo is to do a little preparation with the panels before you start. For your first panel, you want to attach a connector to each leg, like so. The connectors attach very easily just by hand. No tools are required. For your next six panels, you just want to attach a connector to the left leg. The final panel won't need a connector pre-attached. You're now ready to begin assembling your gazebo. Simply take your first panel with both connectors and any other panel with a connector on it and slide it into the leg on the right side. Attach a connector onto the top and these two panels are now stable and should stand freely on their own. Now you simply keep adding more panels to form an octagon. Be sure the gate and window panels are set up with the latches and Advantech logo facing out so they will open toward you and not into the kennel. Walls are done and we're now ready to start on the roof. The roof assembly is a very important step. It not only provides shade and comfort to your pet, but it also gives the pet gazebo its full structural stability. The roof arms act like the spokes of a bicycle wheel, supporting and securing the outside walls. Without the roof in place, the pet gazebo is much more susceptible to impact, pushy dogs, and even the wind. The outside of the connectors have two large holes and two small holes. The smaller hole in the middle is to prevent water from pooling up inside the connector. The other small hole near the back corner is where you will insert the roof support arm. To begin, connect your first two roof rods directly across from each other. Now you attach your roof hub. Your next two arms should form an X with your first two. Once your first four are in position, you can just go around in a circle and finish the rest. Once you've decided which color of the reversible top you're gonna to use, simply throw the whole thing over the top of the gazebo. Place the center of the cover over the roof hub and screw on the roof cap. Next, align the black ribbing of the cover with the vertical posts on the kennel panels. Now you need to attach the cover to the walls. Once you've done so, your Advantech pet gazebo has its full structural integrity. First, insert the elastic part of the ball tie through the eyelet. Next, pass the elastic underneath the top horizontal bar. Then pass the elastic around the back of the two vertical bars and feed it through the other eyelet. Finally, pass the end of the elastic loop over the ball end of the tie. 
And that's it, your pet gazebo is now ready for use. As you can see, it's one solid piece. It can be moved around as one unit, and it's ready to go for your pet. One of the more unique features of the pet gazebo is its expandability. You can connect two, three, seven, fifteen gazebos, it doesn't matter. It's very easy to do and we'll spend a few minutes going over how you make that happen. Of course, you will need more than one pet gazebo. Now line them up side by side and remove one panel from each completed gazebo. Turn the bottom connectors 180 degrees. Next, you place the first panel to connect the two gazebos, slide it into both feet. Replace your top connectors and roof rods. Replace your elastic ties. This time they're going to go a little differently. Through the grommet, under the top bar, through the front of the grommet, under the top bar, and around the ball tie. Now simply repeat the same steps with the other panel. This creates a corridor between your gazebos. And don't just stop at two pet gazebos. You can connect as many as you want in any configuration you want. The possibilities are endless. Here's a few more options. Thanks for taking the time to learn about the Advantech Pet Gazebo. We have tons of accessories available to enhance your use of your kennel. Tote bags are available for both the original pet gazebo and the cabana pet gazebo. There are ground stakes to secure the pet gazebo on your lawn or campsite, and we've even got roosting bars and nesting boxes that turn your pet gazebo into a chicken hutch. We're always working on new accessories for the pet gazebo as well, so make sure to check our website regularly to see what's new and what's available. Thank you for your time.